Hello everyone, hope you're doing good. In this video, we are going to fix the Bluetooth icon is missing from the device manager from the bottom right corner and it's not showing anywhere. If you're using Windows 11, Windows 10, 8 or 7, the method will remain same for all users. And please make sure you watch the whole video because we will be trying six methods and I'm sure one method will surely work for you. Now the very first step will be click on the search icon and type troubleshoot and you will find troubleshoot settings so we will click on that and here we need to click on other troubleshooters from here scroll down and look for bluetooth and just click on run so it will start detecting problems currently it's showing checking for bluetooth capability so if bluetooth is not showing in the device manager it will be fixed by this so you can try that and see if it's working or not. If it's not, we will move to the next step. Now for that, just do a right click in the start icon and click on run. And here we need to type services RMSC. Now once you do that, hit OK. I'll maximize this. Now select any of the application and look for here Bluetooth. I can see there are three services running Bluetooth audio gateway service, Bluetooth support service, Bluetooth user support service. So I can see all these three applications are running. What you need to do is select the first one, do a right click and go to properties and from here click on automatic and then apply and then OK. Once you do that, do the same thing for just to right click go to properties and from manual to click on automatic and then apply and then OK. Once you are done with all these three things, just need to do a right click and you need to click on restart. So firstly, we will be changing from manual to automatic and then we will do, then we will restart the service and see if your Bluetooth icon is active or not. And if it's not, we will move to the next step. For the third step, we need to open the file explorer. I'll maximize it here. From the left hand side, go to this PC and go to your C drive where the operating system is installed. And I'll open it. And here we need to look for Windows. Now once you open it, scroll down and look for System32. Once you find it, double click on that. And at the top right corner, you will find a tab where you can search specifically in System32. So here we need to type FSQU. I'll maximize it as well. So once you type it, hit enter and it will start searching for the file. Now here you will find the Bluetooth icon. So just do a right click and so select it do a right click and click on copy so once you do that minimize it and do a right click on your desktop and paste it right there so in this manner you will have the bluetooth icon in your desktop as well and we just need to double click and from here you can send the files and receive files uh, if you still have the issues with the bluetooth then just do a right click in the start icon and then go to device manager. Now here in device manager, I'll just maximize it. Currently I can see the Bluetooth services here and if you do not see, what you can do is go to action and click on scan for hardware changes. Now if you see any yellow exclamation here, then just try to do a right click and try to click on update driver. So do a scan for hardware changes and see if you get the Bluetooth icon and if you do not then just do a right click then go to action again and click on add a legacy hardware. Once you do that click on next. Now here we get an option search for and install the hardware automatically and install the hardware that I manually select from the list. So we need to select the manual one and we will click on next. Now once you have selected the network adapters,
click on next and then wait here and select Microsoft and see if you see the Bluetooth driver here one by one if you do not see that then go to the Microsoft Corporation as well try to find the Bluetooth and once you find it click on next and the driver will be installed and you will have the Bluetooth icon right here if you still do not find the Bluetooth driver then what you can do is this is one of the most powerful and effective method for that open the browser and type Intel Bluetooth driver and hit enter now here you will find the very first option intel.com wireless Intel Intel wireless product download software and driver for Intel wireless Bluetooth so I'll click on that and I'll maximize this so here it says download software for Bluetooth wireless Bluetooth so you can try the latest one or if that doesn't work then try to install the previous version from here you can select the version Windows 10 Windows 11 we can also select Windows 8 here Windows 8.1 or Windows 7 so this is a pretty good thing which you can do let's say after doing all things you are not able to fix your Bluetooth and it's not showing on your device manager on your desktop at the bottom right corner you have tried everything then I would recommend to repair your windows eventually it will be very good for your computer so to repair the windows we need to run some commands as a administrator in command prompt and I will mention these commands in the description box so that you can copy and you can run it so the procedure is really straightforward and easy in the search icon uh, you need to type CMD and please make sure that you run as an administrator because if you just click on open then it will not be effective and most, most probably it will not fix the problem so click on run as an administrator and it will ask you to say yes and you will get a window which says C Windows System 32 not C user your account name like that so once you do that just copy the first command this is for DISM check health and then just paste it right here and it will start scanning your computer once the first command is done do the second one just copy it and just paste it right there by pressing Control V and it will start scanning your computer now this step might take 5-7 minutes or more than that it depends on your computer but once this is done you need to run the next command so once this scan health is done you need to run this restore health once you paste the third command which is DISM online clean image restore health it will start repairing and restoring the Windows 10 Windows 11 or any other version of Windows which you're using in your computer till Windows 7 so this procedure especially will take some time and once this is done you need to restart the computer and then run the SFC scan which is system file checker so it is a pretty straightforward just copy it SFC space forward slash scan now so once you have typed the this command you just need to press enter and it will begin the system scan again this will take time it might take 10 or maybe 15 minutes to run the whole scan and once this is done restart the computer so please let me know which method has worked for you and if it doesn't please let me know in the comment section I'll try my best to fix your problem and guys please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video have a wonderful day